you do not need to pay for a class to take this test. Do not be scammed. Do not be scammed. So we passed. I passed the part 107 exam with an 80% and all I used was the free assets online. Like the hour long videos for part 107 certified and some people will tell you that you need to take a class and you don't, <laughs> trust me. I went on there and I took the test and it was 60 questions long. And the first question, I can't tell you the first question, but the first question was just like a random fact that you should memorize, I guess. So yeah, I did spend a few days trying to learn METAR and TAF reports and that, but Really, all I did was for three days, I studied the very first half of, they have a handbook. It's a UAV handbook. You can go on their website. I'll leave a link for it. But I just studied the first half of that for like three days. And then I stopped for like a few months. And then I came back like a week before I took the test or not even a week, it was like three days. So like three days, I was studying online. I watched the hour long videos like three times. I watched one of them twice and then I watched another one. And I'll leave a link to those. And I watched one on uh, the latitude and longitude because it was a little confusing at first. But you do not need to pay for a class to take this test. Do not be scammed. Do not be scammed. You don't need a class for this test. This is an easy, it's just, they asked, well, for my test, they asked me like random facts to remember. Like half of it was just, I'd say some of them are random, but a few of them were things that you should remember about, you know, the FAA rules and regulations on drones and things like that. And then they have, you know, the hefty parts about METAR reports and TAF reports and the meat and bones and then the winds and all that. But they don't really ask you, I don't think it's difficult really. Um, you just, you. I don't think you'll fail. I don't think you'll fail. Like it's just, it's easy. Like, um, but you know, do not be scammed. Just go watch a few videos, um, memorize the stuff, write some of the stuff down so you will remember it better and study it before you get there quick story time. When I was on the way there, they sent me the wrong directions in my email. Luckily, I went 30 minutes before. It was like 30, 40 minutes before. I get to this place that has like a few new building buildings there and it's like there's no, there's no university there. I was going to this. It's Hallmark University. Um, it's in Texas, out here in Texas. I, went, I was supposed to go there and they sent me like eight miles down the freeway. And then I called up there and it was like, oh, well, technically that is our address. And I was like, like y'all didn't think to tell me this, that y'all have a error in y'all's address, but whatever. So I get to the place and I'm rushing, I'm in a hurry. Like, I don't want to lose my $175 that I paid for this test, 175 as of, as of July 1st, the price is $175. So yeah. I ran in there and then I was like, wait, I might need a mask because I don't wear the mask. That's another thing. I don't really wear the mask, but I was like, they might make me wear one. So I went back and I had to go get that. And then I went back in there and the lady was like, oh, it's you. You finally made it. And I was like, yeah, um, where is the testing room? And she's like, she told me where it was at. And then I got in there and the lady was like, oh, Oh, you're, you're not even late. I was like, I was there 13 minutes before. The thing says come 15 minutes before, but I like to be punctual, okay? So I wanted to study in the car before I even got there, but, you know, I was late. Technically, I was late. So, and then I take the test. They gave they gave you this little handbook. Um, It's like an airman's handbook. And... A, I guess this is the way they do. I don't know if this was how everyone took their test, but this is where like 
on the test if you need to look at a graph or if you need the key or if you need um you know like the examples for the map you just look in this little book and that's where you look for your for your map and whatnot but it wasn't hard all you just you just need to know you know the things that I don't know the slippery things that you'll forget like the little things that you'll forget they will probably be on there but let me show you I got an 80 percent and they gave me this paper and it says PSI on one side remote pilot certification process and it says congratulations on passing your UAG exam next you must apply for an FAA part 107 remote pilot certificate you cannot exercise the privileges of part 107 without the certificate so yeah you have to wait uh, however long this is going to take for them to send me my thing until you can actually exercise this license if you are an a manned aircraft pilot with a part 61 certificate blah 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 all you have to do is go on there on this FAA integrated airman certificate um, application IACRA system and log in you have to start a new application and a pilot and then certifications remote pilot other path start new application and then you enter your 17 digit exam ID from the report and they'll send you this in the mail after 10 days so I'm currently waiting for mine um, but I just wanted everyone to know because you know every day someone out there gets scammed <laughs> someone gets scammed and they pay for these exams and they pay for all of these uh, classes to be a UA G pilot UAS pilot and it's not hard at all um, there's some free practice test on there it's to call it 3d OS or something I'll leave a link to that but there's a practice there's a place where you can practice there's a, like 80 questions and some of the questions that were on that practice test were on the actual test so that is a good one you should go look at there's a 3d something and then there's uh, the free videos and then that's all you really need and then the third one will be uh, Quizlet Quizlet uh, if you go on Quizlet they have it to where they have the METAR and the TAF reports and then you just click on it and it'll show you the other side and show you the translated version so that is another good tool you can use um, my score I'm gonna blur everything else out but my score there an 80% I got an 80 and I only took it once so you should be getting this your first try there's three multiple choice answers to choose from so you have a pretty good chance of passing if you didn't study at all you might not pass but if you study lightly I think you'll pass anyways um, some of the questions on there are like common sense questions so I know a lot of people don't have that don't worry if you don't have any just study and you'll be fine so yeah that is all take those free assets and do not listen to those people trying to sham you about you have to take I watched the video he talking about you have to you have to take these paid classes to pass don't don't do it but that's it guys peace also you'll come across a screen like this once you finished and it'll tell you your temporary certificate will be available in seven days so good luck peace